Hey, so uh, when I test gear, I take it out, of course, multiple times in, uh, in different conditions, different um, types of uh, apparel, shoes, whatever, uh, to try it out. Um, just to get a, a sense of um, its strengths and weaknesses in different conditions. Just wanted to give you a little insight into uh, this initial testing process that I've started with uh, these Hill Sounds, uh, I guess, microspike type uh, traction device. It, as you can see, it's very much like uh, a microspike uh, from Catula. Uh, it's got sort of this front bail. Uh, it has a uh, a Velcro strap, which is nice to prevent them from popping off. I've had uh, microspikes pop off uh, a couple times on the other boots. Uh, but one of the key differences in this particular uh, system is the fact that there's, uh, if you would, a little bit more structure to the spikes. With microspikes, the spikes hang down just off the chain. Here we actually have really a, a, a sort of a, some structure or, or metal connecting the different spikes just like a normal crampon without the uh, center center uh, centerpiece. So we've got uh, um, a ring of uh, spikes underneath the ball of the foot and also the heel of the foot. So the one thing I'm really curious about is whether or not I'm going to get uh, snowballing, um, you know, snow caught up between these spikes uh, within the frames underneath the ball of the foot and the heel. That can cause slipping because you're really floating, almost hydroplaning on the snow uh, when, it, when it gets caught up in there. Um, now the question I really have with, with this product is whether or not I'll get that and two, whether the fact that I'm wearing softer shoes, uh, not stiff shoes, will actually break it up and blow it out if it happens. So that's the one thing I'm going to be uh, really looking forward, uh, looking for as um, a possible uh, sort of misgiving with this product. Don't know if it's going to happen, uh, but um, my my senses are on the alert.